Hi guys, and this is part three of the Wally tutorial. Um, the time lapse that you can see on the screen here is me finishing off some of the details that uh, we started in tutorial two. So if you've been following along, um, this is how far we've got with our model. Um, so we've got uh, the mirror modifier still applied and I'm still working here on the parts which are symmetrical. Um, so we're just using knife cuts and extrusions to, and uh, the bevel tool to create these pieces. So if you've been following along from tutorial one and two, then you should already be familiar with the techniques that you can see here in the time lapse being used. And then once we are done with these, I'm going to move on to a couple of other parts, um, which I'm going to show you how to model and then join onto our main body before going into another time lapse at the end of this video where I'll be finishing off all of the symmetrical parts that are part of the body before we can move on to tutorial four, where we'll apply the mirror modifier and begin then working on the asymmetrical details. So now um, we're almost done with all of the symmetrical parts of our Wally body. So we'll soon be able to apply the mirror modifier and then we'll start doing the parts of the body which are asymmetrical. Um, there's a couple of symmetrical parts still left to add. One is going to be this circular piece here which uh, um, stands out from the side of the Wally body. So we're going to do that by creating a separate piece and then joining it together. So uh, make sure that you're in object mode and we're going to create a new object which will be a cylinder object. Once we've created that, we're going to scale it and scale it on the Y, uh, X or uh, Z axis, make it shallower. Then we're going to rotate it on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Now we can position it on our model in approximately the place that we want it to be. Which if we look at our reference is just above this angled part at the rear of the model. Scale a little bit more, slightly too big. So don't forget to keep on checking back with our reference image to get the correct proportions. Once we're happy with that, we'll go back into edit mode. And you can see that this has a beveled shape to it. So that's what we're going to add in now. We'll start with selecting the end face. We'll scale this and it's going to be scaled in. Then we're going to extrude, extrude again, and scale again to give a beveled end. So that's our shape. Go back into object mode. Now we're going to want to join this to the main object. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Again, there we go. Um, so we're going to join this to our main body. And then after it's been joined, it will automatically then appear on the other side because of our mirror modifier. So hold down shift, select the two bodies or two objects and then in object go to join that now joins them together makes it all part of one mesh and because of the mirror modifier we now have the same part on the opposite side so our body remains symmetrical and if you go into edit mode now you'll see that it's all one mesh so just have a quick look now at our reference image and check out for any other um, parts which are symmetrical on both sides that maybe we've missed out. So we've done this front area here. There's this corners, which we're going to model. They're going to be separate parts, which will then be joined to the mesh in the same way. And they are mirrored the same on both sides. So let's do those. And I think that will then be the final symmetrical part before we then start doing the individual asymmetric details like this control panel, pipes, etc. So this um, bottom corner piece, 
is what we're going to model next. And I'm going to go into time lapse mode um, so that you won't get too bored with following along with this video. It's basically using the same methods that we've been using um, all along, extrusion and bevel tools. Um, and then you're going to join it to the main model in the same way that we just joined this, this part here. So I'll just switch over into time lapse mode while I make this piece. So this corner piece is going to be made from a cube. So I just created another basic uh, cube object. And then we're going to use knife cuts and again the bevel tool to create the curved um, edges to it and we're just going to reposition some of the edges to give it um, the correct shape that's needed. So that's basically what I'm doing here in the time lapse and then once we've finished creating this part it will be joined to the body in the same way that the cylinder was that we just made and once it's joined to the body it becomes part of the main body mesh. And then we will be done with all of these symmetrical details and we'll be moving on to tutorial 4 where we'll start doing some of the asymmetrical details and apply the mirror modifier. Um, and then we will basically be done with the body before we start moving on to another part of the Wally -E model. So I'll leave you now with this time lapse. Um, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also in the link at the bottom of this video, you can download the latest Blender model that you can load up into Blender yourself and take a look at it um, so that you can either jump in with uh, the next part of the tutorial if you haven't been following along or you can just use it as your own reference to see um, how the actual model has been structured and how the mesh looks like. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.